दाल मखनी दाल मखनी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर डिश इन इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट एंड रोड साइड ढाबाज दिस क्रीमी बटरी एंड स्पाइसी लेंटर सूप इज मेड विद ब्लैक लेंटर्स एंड किडनी बीन्स फर्दर एनहेंस विद जिंजर गार्लिक एंड टमेटो फ्लेवर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट मेकिंग इट एंड गो थ्रू द इनग्रीडियंट्स वन कप ब्लैक लेंटर्स क्वार्टर कप किडनी बीन्स वन कप टमेटो पेस्ट वन टेबल स्पून जिंजर पेस्ट वन टेबल स्पून गार्लिक पेस्ट सॉल्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू टेस्ट टू टेबल स्पून फाइनली चॉप ग्रीन चिलीज वन टेबल स्पून कसूरी मेथी थ्री टेबल स्पून बटर हाफ कप हैवी मिल्क क्रीम वन टी स्पून टर्मरिक पाउडर टू टी स्पून कश्मीरी रेड चिली पाउडर वन टी स्पून कुरियंडर पाउडर वन टी स्पून क्यूमिन पाउडर वन टी स्पून गरम मसाला सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द रेसिपी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्लीन लेंटिल्स टू गेट रिड ऑफ एनी इम्प्योरिटीज लाइक स्टोन देन वॉश दैम फोर टू फाइव टाइम्स थरली विद वॉटर टू फर्दर क्लीन दैम I have already washed both lentils and kidney beans so let's soak them for 4 to 5 hours to make them soft they have been soaked well so now we will boil them in pressure cooker for this add 5 cups of water in a cooker then add lentils kidney beans and 1 teaspoon salt we are adding salt which helps in boiling beans quickly now close the pressure cooker and cook for 15 to 20 minutes on high heat if you don't have pressure cooker you can also boil lentils and kidney beans in a pot for this use 6 to 7 cups of water and boil them till lentils and kidney beans become soft when cooker's pressure has released by itself we will open it to check if lentils are cooked Both lentils and kidney beans look soft and perfectly boiled. Now transfer around half cup of cooked beans in a separate bowl and grind them into a smooth paste like this. We will use it later in the recipe. Now take a pan or pot and put on medium heat. Then add 2 tablespoon butter. When butter gets medium hot add green chilies and saute for 30 seconds Now add ginger and garlic paste Mix it well and cook on medium heat for around 2 minutes till paste rawness goes away Once ginger and garlic paste is cooked add turmeric and kashmiri red chili powder Now mix them again and cook for 20 to 30 seconds on medium heat. Now it's time to add tomato paste and mix them a little. Now add some salt but be careful as we also added salt while boiling beans. Now add coriander powder. cumin powder and mix them well cook the mixture for around 10 minutes on medium heat till tomato paste are cooked and all water dries out now tomato mixture looks cooked so add boiled lentils lentil paste we made earlier and mix it well adding lentil paste give nice smoothness and creaminess to dal and makes it delicious now add garam masala and kasuri methi to give nice flavors to dal At this moment if you find lentil mixture is too thick then you can also add some water to make it thin I have added 1 cup of water If you want you can also add a pinch of red food color to enhance dal color Give dal a nice stir so that all new ingredients mix well Now 
Now let it get a boil on high heat. When it gets a boil, put the heat to low, cover it and cook for 20 to 25 minutes on low heat. Now lentils are cooking for last 25 minutes, so let's check it. You can see the color and texture of dal has changed and it's looking great. At this time, I have also added some butter for buttery taste, but this is optional. Now mix it till butter melts away. Since it is dal makhani, at last add half cup of heavy milk cream and mix it well and then switch off the heat. Now our delicious dal makhani is ready. So take it out in a bowl and garnish further by spreading some cream and green coriander on top. Our dal makhani is looking beautiful with right color and texture. The creaminess and richness of milk cream, butter and spice mixture gives heavenly taste. It's usually served with naan, roti or boiled rice. It's one of my favorites so try it and don't forget to share your dal makhani pictures.